What's up everybody and welcome back to another lake trout episode. Today we're going to be trying to catch some more lake trout. I'm going to start with a three quarter ounce glow tube. It's a little windy today so I'm doing my best to uh, eliminate that wind noise from our audio. Hopefully I can show you guys some lakers, get you going on the graph here. You guys can see me jigging, watch these fish chase up and down and see if we can put a little handful of lakers in the ice today. They're super super fun to catch. If you guys have not been here before my name is Doug Wagner. I'm a professional fishing guide in Green Bay and Lake of the Woods. And my winners, I fish lake trout because I just can't get enough fishing. And in my personal opinion, these are the best and most fun fish to chase through the ice. So let's get at it and see if we can get one going. You saw me just do guys is I just went and drilled a bunch of holes in a really close proximity to where I'm fishing and honestly it's it's not to fish out of um, it's something a friend of mine Sam taught me and I've kind of seen it come true is if you make a bunch of noise in the ice it kind of seems like these lake trout will come check out what that noise is because it's like every time you drill a new hole you just get to a new spot and you, you drop a bait down it's like boom you mark a fish almost instantly and a lot of times I think it's because of the noise and they want to come check out what's going on or you know what's happening so i just drilled a half dozen holes or so around me and we'll see if that can draw some fish in here i've been here for 10 minutes i had that one right away and now it's been completely dead um, and we're on our second spot of the day so i'm just kind of running and gunning running through some spots but i want to i want to try and call these fish in from a long distance and see if i can get them to come check out the tube like this right here got them look at that <laughs> Uh, I can't take credit for that tip. That's uh, that's Sam Hayes, but um, there you go. Proof's in the pudding. I probably didn't even have to cut the time from me uh, drilling the holes to me setting the hook. And here's our trout. Got him. <laughs> A little bit of noise. is that so that right there might be proof in the pudding it doesn't matter I mean I've got a 40 volt straight fast auger here not super loud it's not gas or propane um, but just the noise of that flight going through the ice makes a lot of noise these fish can travel super fast they're incredibly agile and uh, who knows if this fish was 50 yards away or 500 feet away um, but awesome nice fish Great start to the day. Switch back. All right, that's a little cold on the hands. I guess we'll go through the rod and the reel and bait here real quick. Like I said, this is a glow tube, three quarter ounce tube jig head. any more fish in our area from our little drilling episode. Get down at it. Just looking to see where I was going to go next. Just thinking about moving. Where'd you go? Oh, he came out of freaking, I never even marked that fish. What the hell? That thing must have came from somewhere else at 100 miles an hour. I was three seconds from reeling up and moving and going to my next spot. That would have been a nice one. That just goes to show too guys, if you're just sitting here and you're not marking anything, just keep jigging. Like I said, these fish can see a long ways away. Generally, lake trout water is very, very clear. 
And these things can come from 20, 30, 50 feet away at 100 miles an hour and be like on your jig instantly. Like that's just a prime example of it. So if you're not marking fish, don't just sit there until you mark one, right? Always be jigging your bait, moving your bait, trying to catch some fish's eye from the surrounding area. Wow, <laughs> that would have been fun. All right, spot number three. Got some bait that's just going off the screen. I'm a little deeper than I want to be, but this is a super steep break, and as long as there's bait there, I'll start in this hole. I should probably be in one of those, but like I say, it's, it's really steep. Drilled a couple extra just for some noise and some options. Yeah. Gloves on. Let's see how she goes. Spot number three. trout are so touchy and so finicky um, and you don't want to make a lot of noise and I was always that way too but if you think about it trout are very curious if you ever watch underwater footage of trout chasing spoons or chasing lures they're always coming in checking it out going away coming back they're almost like a smallmouth in a way they're a very curious fish so it kind of makes sense that the, the noise attracts them oh and this wind is getting brutal I hope it's not too terrible on the audio but we just need one or two more bites My next spot. I hate when they hit it in the fall. <laughs> it just makes it so hard to hook them. You just gotta watch your line, and if that line stops falling, then you know you got a bite. But that's the cool thing about the three-quarter ounce is that they really like that fast fall, and you can really get them charged up. So I mean, I even got jigs up to ounce and a half and two ounce too for for special occasions. But man, that was cool. I just was like. Oh, uh, my line's not going down anymore. Close the bail reel up and set, and it felt like a really good fish. Man. Bites are precious today. I think we're on spot number four or five. But again, I've been here for, I don't know, maybe five minutes. I drilled a couple holes behind me, and right away, boom, marking fish. Got him. Oh my gosh. Come on. They're just nipping at it or something. That one's two minutes after I just lost that last one. I'm screaming off the bottom. That one did everything right. Oh my gosh. I'm one for four. That's not good. That's not good at all. There he is. Oh my. One for five. Oh, he's still there. Come back. I don't know if this is the same fish, a different fish, or what, but there he is. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Got him. All right, let's not lose this one. That would be good. Our wind is switching. It's gonna switch to west and then it's gonna get really nasty. This afternoon it's gonna start snowing. You guys can see all the cloud cover and stuff came in here. Get a glove off. And of course, he's probably the smallest one I've hooked. Okay, here we go. You guys can see I switched tube colors. When it gets dark and cloudy like this, I really like the brighter stuff. All right, there's our fish. Two for six. That's uh. Not what I like, but catching two trout's always fun. Hopefully we can catch ourselves one more here quick before the storm and wind really starts blowing hard. He wants to go back. Everything's cold, nothing wants to work. The flasher graph wasn't on for that last fish, of course. But like I said, guys, I switched up. If you watch the channel, you've seen me use this white and chartreuse tube a lot. I get a ton of questions on it and I, I don't buy them like this. I actually get them and then I custom paint them. Um, Thorn Brothers carries a tube, but this, this one I do a little custom painting myself. But like I say, when it's dark out, I like a little bit brighter colors. And let's see if we can get another one here. Maybe that actually shows up on the graph camera so you guys can see him chase but that one wasn't messing around he basically just came up and slammed it well guys that's gonna wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching if you guys are not already please subscribe to the channel below we've got all kinds of information here tips tricks and maybe even teach you a thing or two next time you're on the ice fishing lakers you're not marking anything maybe try making some noise with your auger thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one